Hi Motere and welcome to your writing lesson today. We're going to be talking about homophones, in particular your and your. So what's the difference? Your, Y-O-U-R, is a possessive pronoun. It shows that something belongs to someone. So here's our kite here. It belongs to a young girl. And the boy is saying, that's your kite. Your, spelt Y-O-U with an apostrophe R-E, tells me that it's a contraction. The apostrophe there tells me that there's some letters missing. It's a quick way of saying, you are. So let's have a look. Here's the girl flying the kite, and here's the young boy saying, you're good at flying kites. So we've got a couple of strategies that I'm going to share with you about how you can work out which way to write or which one to write. You could say the, the sentence by using the long version of your, you are, and asking yourself, well, does that make sense? Or you could ask yourself, does something belong to someone? Let's have a try. So listen carefully and work out the correct word. Is it your, the Y-O-U-R, it means it belongs to something, or is it your, short for you are? Where is your brother? So pause the video and ask yourself the two questions and see if you can work it out. So I'm going to read the sentence, the long version. Where is you are brother? That does not make sense to me. Did it make sense to you when you used that strategy? So now I'm going to ask myself something. Well, does the brother belong to me? Because it's me. And yeah, it does. So it must go, well, it belongs to you really, doesn't it? So it's going to have to write, where is your, Y-O-U-R, brother? Let's go for number two. Pause the video after I read it out and see if you can work it out yourself. If you're coming, go get ready. So how did you get on? Did you use the long strategy or did you ask a belonging question? I always find the long strategy of saying the you are word for me that's the best one so i'm going to use that one again first if you are coming go get ready perfect that works and i'm going to keep it y-o-u apostrophe r-v so here's the two strategies again say the sentence by using you are and ask does this make sense or ask yourself who does it something belong to and if it is you that you can answer that question really well and it does make sense, use that one. That's the end of our lesson. This is your practice. So pause the video here and 